Thank you all so much for joining me. Before I begin, I need to pray. Father God, we just come boldly before your throne of grace. We thank you so much for being full time in our life. We ask that you please allow us to make sure that we're praying about all things. Just touch our hearts, God. Show us the things that we need to pray about for people, for ourselves, for our finances, our health, our children, our generation, our government systems, Lord God. Put it on our heart, quicken us through the power of your Holy Spirit, and allow us to talk about it today and pray and make our supplication to you. God, also allow us to speak positive things. You said that which we bind on earth is bound in heaven, and those things that we lose on earth is loose in heaven. God, allow us to believe each and every single last one of the biblical affirmations that you've given us today, and allow us to be able to implement everything that we need to in your according to your word and according to your riches and glory so god we ask that you will meet our needs according to your riches and glories and your riches and glory in christ jesus and we also ask that god should keep our hearts softened and melted for you allowing us to walk in abundance and righteousness and um always being sensitive to the voice of the holy spirit and allowing us to be able to be obedient to your Holy Spirit, obedient to your plan, will, and purpose, God. And so, God, we just ask that you um, continue to tune your ears to hear our voice. But most importantly, God, we want your will to be done in our life, not our will or anyone else's will. We want your will to be done in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is sealed in your atonement blood. Amen. Hey, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me today. So um, today I wanted to add some biblical affirmations to our Sunday line prayer. I know um, previously it's always been about prayer and prayer usually lasts for about an hour. Right. And so what I wanted to do a little bit differently today was I wanted to pray. But I also want to, um, you know, make sure that I include our affirmations, some biblical affirmations that we can stick to. And make sure that God has us, um, you know, um, speaking those things that will be able to put us over in life where we're overcomers. Right. And so God wants us to, you know, speak the things that are positive, faith filled things that allow us not to be defeated, but yet um, be able to prevail and triumph in all things, Um, specifically those things that are pertaining to God's will and his word in our life. So um, I'm going to say these biblical affirmations. Uh, Actually, I'm going to do the prayer first, and then I'll go on to the biblical affirmations. If you all wanted to add anything at all, or if you wanted to create your own biblical affirmation, that would be great too, because what I'll do is I'll include it on one of the blogs. I love sharing and um, giving credit to where it's due. I believe that it's essential for us to be able to collaborate with others and, you know, support each other um, in our goals. When it comes to us being able to prevail and triumph in life, we want to be able to be supportive to our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. Right. And so I have listed about three pages worth of affirmations. Um, The first one is by Abby Abigail. Um, the next one is by Karen uh, Hansen, and the last one is by Dale Fletcher. And so these are some pretty powerful affirmations. I think that they're uh, quite suitable. I will be adding more to the list. And so if you all wanted to add some affirmations, please go ahead and do so. Just send the email to lawslifehealth at suddenchangescorporation.org, Okay. So let's get into the prayer. Shortly after the prayer, I am going to be getting into the biblical affirmations. Okay. All right. Here we go. Egg, seek, and knock. Matthew 7 and chapter, chapter 7, verse 7 through 8. Eggs and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. So my personal devotion, if you could ask God for anything, whoever said that you cannot question, whoever said that you cannot question God, it it was not telling the truth. The truth is do not test God in any way or challenge him. When unsure of anything, 
seek God and ask him to clarify and give you understanding. Okay. All right. Let me just fix this section here. One moment. I don't know what. God, I pray that the um, this technological device will work efficiently so that I can accomplish the plan of um, this saying this prayer and also the biblical affirmations today, God. So I, I pray that you will stand in the gap and allow uh, me to be able to seamlessly deliver um, this prayer, including being able to speak the affirmations over us. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is still in your time and blood. Amen. All right, so I'll go back in and fix that a little later. Um, okay, so remember that when you are going through problems and feel like no one is there, God is there. You must tell God what it is that you need and make sure that your heart is coming from a good place. Okay. All right. Okay. James chapter four and verse three, it says, when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend, you may spend what you get on your pleasures. Remember, God is easier to talk to than people. Everyone should talk to God more than they talk to people. But make sure that when you do, you're coming from a place of sincerity because God acknowledges and knows the things that are in your heart. And so um, you want to make sure that you're coming from a place that is sincere in heart. Okay. All right. Here are the prayers from Ephesians chapter six and verse 12. Father God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega beginning and end, first and last. You said that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever we loose on earth is loose in heaven. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bind and cast down spiritual wickedness in high places and render them harmless and ineffective against us, against our mind, will, and emotions, actions, reactions, feelings, finances, family, friends, careers, and businesses, including our thoughts and from our bloodline to bloodline to bloodline to bloodline, in our generation to generation to generation. We redeem your assignment upon our lives. We put on the whole armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, we are standing our ground. And after we have done everything, we will still be standing. So we stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around our waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and our feet fitted with the readiness from the gospel of peace. We are equipped with the shield of faith, which we will extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, we put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet and ask God to protect us from all evil and wickedness. We cancel every satanic tongue and every word curse that is spoken against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we command it not. We command those negative, evil, wicked, cursed words not to manifest over our life and it will not have a reaping process. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father God, your word says in Acts chapter 1 and 8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witness in, witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So, thank you, God, for giving us the power to counsel the plans of the devil and his evil demonic presence in this world. We counsel every satanic attempt that will lead us into a path of unrighteousness. We cancel every word curse sent out by Satan, his evil spirits and demons, and we command those words not to manifest over our life and it will not have a reaping process. We cancel every satanic attempt that would interfere with your plans in our lives. We take the authority that has been invested in us and paid for by the blood of Jesus Christ to use in every situation and circumstance. Thank you, God, for the power given to us from heaven, made possible through the blood of Jesus Christ to cancel and rebuke demons. We declare and decree life, vitality, and prosperity in our lives and souls. We position ourselves in the spiritual realm with the Holy Spirit. Father God, you have authorized us to lead with the Holy Spirit, and therefore we lead with the Holy Spirit. God, according to Ephesians chapter 10 and 20, God, we have put on the full armor of God. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
We are strong in the Lord and his mighty power. We put on the whole armor of God to take our stand against the devil's schemes. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And therefore, we put on the full armor of God in every single situation and circumstance so that when the day of evil comes, we will be standing our ground. And after we have done everything, we will stand. We stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around our waist, with the black breastplate of righteousness in place, and with our feet fitted with the readiness from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, we take up the shield of faith, and with it, we extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. We take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is of the word of God, to attack every demonic force within the spiritual realm right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We counsel, rebuke, and uproot by breaking every satanic stronghold of any evil and wicked characteristics, personalities, relationships, networks, and communications that have spirits of pride, all evil and wicked spirits, and hearts of deception. We rebuke spirits of rebellion against you, God, spirits of fear, spirits of destruction, spirits of self-sabotage. We counsel, rebuke, and uproot all those evil and wicked qualities with the blood of Jesus Christ. We counsel, rebuke, and uproot spirits of inefficiency, spirits of ineffectiveness, spirits of greed, spirits of adultery, spirits and hearts of death, spirits of loathing, spirits of gluttony, and spirits of the underworld, spirits of manipulation, spirits of anxiety, spirits of mental bondage, spirits of schizophrenia. We cancel, rebuke, and uproot with the blood of Jesus Christ and break spirits of depression, spirits of corruption, spirits of lust, spirits of malicious gossip, spirits of doubt, hearts of unbelief in you, God, spirits of laziness, spirits of witchcraft, spirits of unforgiveness, spirits of oppression, spirits of division, spirits of perverseness, spirits of anger, spirits of addiction. We cancel, rebuke, and uproot with the blood of Jesus Christ, all evil and wicked, and cut off and sever spirits of debauchery, spirits of delusion, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for everybody. We pray in the Holy Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. We are always on alert and praying for all of the Lord's people. We live fearlessly with boldness, being able to understand the mysteries of the gospel that God revealed to us. We are ambassadors of Jesus Christ and are chained to Jesus Christ through his blood. We declare that God's children agree with us in this prayer. We thank you, God, for listening to our prayers and supplications with you, God. Thank you, God. God, your word says in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 8, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God and the peace of God, which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, King of kings, Lord of lords, we are careful about nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We let our requests be made known unto God and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, is kept in our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Those things that are true, all honest things, whatever things that are just, all pure things, all the lovely things, all the things that are of good reports, virtue in you, we give praise and glory to you. And we think on these things every day. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. It is sealed in your atonement blood. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. In Matthew 18 and 18, truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we use the power that we've been authorized to have by the blood of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit of God to help us succeed and give us power and therefore we rebuke demons we live life abundantly we have peace we chain and slaughter satanic forces and evil troops and wicked spirits and spiritual realms down to the abyss of hell and forbid their return by sealing those evil forces evil troops and wicked spirits down with the blood of jesus christ we have dominion over everything because we are god's children brought with the blood of jesus christ Therefore, we declare and decree that our well-being and emotional health are shielded with the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ over us. We pray against all evil and wicked by counseling, rebuking, and uprooting all those things that are evil, wicked, casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold, breaking evil and wicked chains, and slaughtering satanic forces of evil troops and demonic spirits and spiritual realms with the blood of Jesus Christ. We forbid the return of evil forces and powers, evil troops and wicked spirits by sealing them down in the abyss with the blood of Jesus Christ. And we cancel, rebuke, and uproot jealousy and envy, negative thoughts, and unhealthy relationships. May our homes be our sanctuary to praise you, God. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our minds. Therefore, our minds are protected. We take our thoughts into captivity for anything and everything that would exalt itself above the knowledge of God. And we make our thoughts obedient to Christ. We declare and decree that we are protected from all evil and wickedness with the blood of Jesus Christ. God, we ask that you do not allow us to have any empathy or sympathy for anything that is evil, wicked, or demonic. God, do not allow us to be influenced by anything that is evil, wicked, or demonic. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over us and we pray against all evil and wicked by counseling, rebuking, and uprooting all those things that are evil, wicked, casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold that attempts to violate God's plans in our lives. Through Jesus Christ, we are shielding in our homes and authorize our homes to be used only as a sanctuary for love, peace, joy, and happiness with the blood of Jesus Christ. We speak love, peace, joy, and happiness in the atmosphere of our homes. We enhance protections with the blood of Jesus Christ over our communities and neighborhoods, and we command marriages to have love, care, trust, physical, emotional, and spiritual blessings. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. It is sealed in your atonement and blood. We plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ over us, and we pray against all evil and wicked by counseling, rebuking, uprooting all those things that are evil, wicked, casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold, satanic seeds of atrocities, malice, wrath, slander, vexation, anger, unrighteousness, hypocrisy, envy, worthlessness, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. God, you have warned us of these things in Galatians chapter 5 verses 19 and 21. And those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So God, allow us to inherit your kingdom by allowing us to be obedient to you, God. We have dominion over everything because we are God's children bought with Jesus Christ's blood. We control and have power over everything through Jesus Christ. And we use it to take authority over everything God gave us in every situation and in every circumstance. Therefore, we cancel, rebuke, and uproot all evil and wickedness that have or may prevent or have prevented or may attempt or have attempted to prevent the lost children of God or children of God from being obedient to God or turning and returning to God to enter into the kingdom of heaven. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. It is sealed in your atonement blood. Therefore, as God's children, as God's chosen ones, we put on the holiness of God as his beloved children with compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. 
bearing with one another in love and endurance. And if one has a complaint against one another, we forgive each other no matter what. As the Lord has forgiven us, so we forgive everyone. Above all, we put on love that binds us and everything together in perfect harmony. According to Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 14, we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. It is sealed in your atonement blood. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over us and we pray against all evil and wicked by counseling, rebuking, uprooting all those things that are evil and wicked casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold satanic seeds of evil and wicked including any and any and all bondages of satan and his armies in any and every area of our lives in the name of jesus christ we embed and plead the blood of jesus christ in our minds to let go of all evil and wicked we cancel rebuke and uproot evil wicked and demonic ideologies traditions practices behaviors and re reactions that lead to poverty mentalities hate for self hate for others thefts corrupt talk jails ideas and actions that lead to prison or jail grief obscene talk doubt unbelief defeat quarrels drunkenness strife jealousy and thirst for this world we embed and plead the blood of Jesus Christ in our minds to not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. We let go of evil, wicked and demonic ideologies, traditions, practices, behaviors and reactions that lead to suicidal ideations, vengeance, retaliation, ungratefulness, reprisal from unforgiveness, evil desires, unforgiveness, abominations, spirits of Judas, hypocrisy, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, covetousness, evil passions, deceptions, and destructions. In the name of Jesus, we let go of all those evil and wicked things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cannot be defeated when we have already won. Amen. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ and we embed and plead the blood of Jesus Christ into our mind, body, and soul and heart that every seed of righteousness, vitality, prosperity, love, gentleness, kindness, peace, abundance, mercy, triumph, tenderheartedness, forgiveness to one another as God in Christ forgave us, prudence that ignores insult, slow to anger in every instance understanding the law treating our neighbors as self meditating on your word every day god showing gratitude appreciation kindness reciting positive affirmations honoring you in our bodies as your word says in first corinthians chapter 6 verses 12 through 20 and we pray that these will be everything in our character personality minds and thoughts in the name of jesus christ it is sealed in your atonement blood second timothy 1 and 7 for the spirit god gave us does not make us timid but gives us power love and self-discipline we plead the blood protection of jesus christ over us and we pray against all evil and wicked by counseling rebuking and uprooting all those things that are evil wicked casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold satanic seeds and we do not pass judgment on others we measure goodness by testing and trying people's spirits. According to 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 5, God, we ask that you soften our hearts to be obedient to you in a way that your word says in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Let your God-breathed word manifest into our lives to be useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training us in righteousness so that we can serve you, God, and always be equipped for every good work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, we ask according to your word in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 through 8, let us always ask for what we need according to your riches and glory so that it will be given to us. Let us always seek you and find you. Let us always knock and the door is open for us because you said that everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks 
finds and to the one who knocks the door will be open we do not fight against flesh and blood but against principalities and so god we just ask that you will allow us our hearts to always seek you always knock for you always ask you things god let us always be desiring to have answers from you god answers from you and your word and not from people and we seek you first in all things god allow our hearts to seek you first in all things in every situation in every circumstance in the mighty name of jesus christ so we pray against cancel rebuke and uproot all evil and wicked by breaking every satanic stronghold we break evil wicked chains and slaughter satanic forces evil troops and demonic spirits that are in spiritual realms and we break them with the blood of jesus christ any any of those things that attempt plan plot orchestrate pivot or any maneuvers of the devil that will lead us or try to lead us through the wide and broad gate on the road that leads to destruction and hell although many enter through it we declare and decree with the blood of jesus christ that we will enter the small gate that is narrow on the road that leads to life in the name of jesus christ it is sealed in the mighty name of jesus christ we plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ over us. And we pray against all evil and wicked by canceling, rebuking, uprooting, all those things that are evil, wicked, casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold, satan satanic seeds of all forms of jealousy, all things that try to contend or dissent with the Holy Spirit, negative thoughts, despair and hopelessness and cover us in the blood protection of jesus christ that shields guards and supports all of us that are his children in and around schools with all teachers and students we plead the blood protection of jesus christ against all violence bullying and evil and wicked influence and influences in the name of jesus christ we declare and decree that we are covered in the blood protection of jesus christ that shields us guards us supports our relationships our friendships in christ spousal relationships and cover us in the blood protection of jesus christ against all relationship misunderstandings deceits harms and negativities in the mighty name of jesus christ so we plead the blood protection of jesus christ over us and we pray against all evil and wicked by counseling rebuking and uprooting all those things that are evil and wicked casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold satanic seeds and demonic worship demonic workplace negativity malicious intent and harmful actions in the name of jesus christ we declare and decree that we are covered in the blood blood protection of jesus christ that shields us guards us and supports us all by allowing our tasks engagements and communications with colleagues supervisors and managers and friends and family to be to be obedient and in alignment with god's word we plead the blood protection of jesus christ against all accidents delays harmful incidents and put his blood protection to guard and support our steps guiding us safely to and from our destination we plead the blood of jesus christ against all elderly abuse harm and stagnation that emerge or grow due to age his blood protection shields guards and supports them from loneliness and provides comforts peace and spiritual richness in you oh god in the mighty name of jesus christ so we plead the blood of we plead the blood protection of jesus christ over us and we pray against all evil and wicked by canceling rebuking and uprooting all things that are evil wicked and casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold satanic seeds breaking evil wicked chains and slaughtering satanic forces evil troops and demonic spirits in spiritual realms with the blood of jesus christ by canceling every accident outside or at home on the road or anywhere in the name of jesus christ we declare and decree that we are covered in the blood protection of jesus christ who shields guards and supports all of us including all of god's children who are lost but are destined for his holy nation by always making us alert and cautious in every situation and circumstance we pray this in the name of jesus christ we pray against by counseling 
any harm from storms, earthquakes, natural and unnatural disasters and chaos. We declare and decree that we are covered in the blood protection of Jesus Christ that shields, guards, and supports all of us, including meeting our needs, keeping us trusting in him, and praying about all things seen and unseen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ over us, and we pray against all evil and wicked by canceling, rebuking, and uprooting all those things that are evil and wicked casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold, satanic seeds. And we pray against all wrong choices, shame, and guilt that does not lead to repentance, unforeseen setbacks, fraud, theft, robbery, spiritual weakness, fears, doubts, unbelief, temptations, heartaches and losses, financial ruin, and pitfalls in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we also declare and decree that we are covered in the blood protection of Jesus Christ that shields us, guards us, and supports all of us. And supports all of us with shame and guilt that leads to repentance. Repentance that improves our behaviors that are centered on Christ. Behaviors that allow God, the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to be our provider of all things. His atonement, blood protections over our finances, wise choices, foolishness that leads to wisdom and knowledge, spiritual strength, wholeness, completeness, prosperity, proprietary behavior, and rejection to all evil and wicked temptations. We pray this in the, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, first and the last, we plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ. We pray against all evil and wicked by canceling, rebuking, and uprooting those things that are evil, wicked, and casting down all fears, evil and wicked indoctrinations, harmful teachings, deceptive practices, weakened relationships, hatred, prejudice, dishonesty, inequity, inequality, disparities, economic barriers, financial challenges, racism, reverse racism, race color blindness, blindness, pollution, exploitation, trials and tribulations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare and decree in the mighty name of Jesus that we are covered in the blood protection of Jesus Christ that shields, guards, and supports us all to maintain faith in you, God, uphold and support your teachings with boldness, being fearless in this world while fearing you alone, God, having an appreciation of your image by honoring you in our bodies, love and respect for you and others, living in harmony, implementing and demonstrating honesty, kindness, and integrity, always in our behavior and reactions to others, being good stewards with splendor of your creation. We plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ over us. So we pray against all evil and wicked by counseling, rebuking, and uprooting all those things that are evil, wicked, and casting down all legal matters of injustices, unfairness, unrighteous disputes, human trafficking, organ trafficking, repugnant laws, prejudicial laws, racist laws that have led and leads to separation and equality, bigotry, prejudice, including unequal financial distributions in America and around the entire world. We plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ against all spiritual veils of blindness, evil and wicked control systems, narcissistic governments, fascism, affluent oligarchy members and governments in the world, anarchy, totalitarianism, centralized to control opposition, evil and wicked parliament systems, and paternalism. We plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ against all evil and wicked behaviors, including implementations against environmental conservations, the air and water, including misappropriations of government funds, financial regulations, consumer protections, world regulatory obstacles, agricultural risk and violations through innovation 
policies that hurt poor people and prevent them from thriving. Regulations that need eliminated are commanded to be eliminated right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare and decree those educational systems, including higher education regulations that lead to abuse of power structures to be eliminated right now. We command and rebuke unions that promote greed and favoritism to be eliminated and dismantled and broken down right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare and decree that we are covered in the blood protection of Jesus Christ that shields, guards, and supports all legal justices in the current and future generations. Leaders and world leaders who love others, support equality, peace, equity, fairness, sense of unity, illuminating wisdom, providing empowerment, having endurance. Leaders and world leaders that are, that are not financially greedy, promoters of peace, governments in this world that works for the people and includes their work performance, the reinforcement of ethics and values, governments that have the adaptability to you, God. We declare and decree that the world government system is commanded to come under the authority of Jesus Christ right now. We command that public service is being rebuilt and restored to help people. We declare and decree that the size of government should be determined by you, God, whether it is big or small in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, your word says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, for if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. So we plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ over us and we pray against all evil and wicked by canceling, rebuking, and uprooting all those things that are evil and wicked, casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold, satanic seeds of government reform that is in descent of your word, plan, will, and purpose, God. We rebuke beliefs, policies, and government control that does not sponsor fairness, equity, love, equal distribution, boundaries that respect others, because you are our God, Judge. You are our judge, God, and any in all things that has apathy. We declare and decree that we are covered in the blood protection of Jesus Christ, who shields, guards, supports all of us to disrupt evil and wicked cultural norms, disrupting failing governments through prayer and actions that lead to positive enforcement and reinforcements. So you can give back restoration and empower us to have liberation in your word that we practice, implement, and influence others to demonstrate God. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ over us. And we pray against all evil and wicked by counseling, rebuking, and uprooting all those things that are evil and wicked, casting down and breaking every satanic strong whole satanic seeds of any and all unhealthy conditions, incurable diseases, genetic diseases, communicable diseases that pass through animals and people, benign, malignant, and skin cancers, allergies, any infections that include bacteria, viral, parasitic, HIV, sexually transmitted infections and diseases, clinical trials that violate ethics, ringworms, skin problems, internal pain, physical pain, psychological and or mental pains, and traumas on the brain. We rebuke traumas within the body, any shingles, diabetes, and every illness in the world that have violated the heart, mind, body, and spirit of your children. And we accept your word, God, as it says in Isaiah 53 and 5, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds, we are healed. Hallelujah. Therefore, we declare and decree that we are covered in the blood protection of Jesus Christ who shields, who shields us, guards us, and supports all of your children to be healed according to your word. We command the hearts minds, bodies, and souls of your children to be cleansed, purified, sanctified,
sanctified and justified by your grace, spiritually refined, God. We command the bodies that are with disease or diseases, cancer or cancers, and infection or infections to dry up right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we command the unhealthy habits to be demolished and the gifts of health to prevail. We command our medical workers, doctors, and surgeons to be cured from vicarious traumas or trauma, including building the temple of the body to respect and honor you, God. We plead the blood protection of Jesus Christ over us. And we pray against all evil and wicked by counseling, rebuking, and uprooting all those things that are evil and wicked, casting down and breaking every satanic stronghold, satanic seeds of suicidal ideations, drug addictions, sex addictions, gambling addictions, suicidal attempt or attempts. We attach our motivations to you, God. Our confidence is attached to you, God. We attach ourselves to the Holy Spirit, God. We ask that you give us grace, miracles where there are needed to impact non-believers and believers. God, we declare and decree with the blood protection of Jesus Christ that your children's hearts, minds, bodies, and soul is healed from brokenness, shattered hearts, discomfort, pain, sickness, and unforgiveness, evil and wicked demonic things. We command healing and recovery from broken homes, disappointments, and discomfort. We command your children's hearts, minds, bodies, and souls to be freed from all wickedness, no sympathy or empathy for anything that is evil, wicked, or demonic. We command our bodies to have robust immune systems that are strong and healthy, defenses against viruses, diseases, cancers, infections. We declare and decree with the blood of Jesus Christ that your children have healthy hearts and lungs, prosperity and vitality with energy and protection from all injury. And we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is sealed in your atonement blood. Amen. Amen, everybody. Hallelujah for those prayers. Amen. So now I want to shift and um, now I'm going to go into um, the biblical affirmations. Okay. Biblical affirmations right now, everybody. So biblical affirmations are basically a way for us to confess with our mouth who we are in Christ. So instead of saying you can't do something, God is saying you can do it. Instead of saying you are defeated, God is saying that you are overcomer. You're undefeated. So we speak biblical affirmations so that we will not be speaking those things that, that feed you with doubt and unbelief and lead to defeat in your life. So biblical affirmations is a way to profess and confess with our mouth the authority that God has given us. And so we take the authority to use our words as the, the Bible tells us that the word has the power of life and death. And so with it, we're going to speak life and we're speaking life over us and over, over the people that we know. So right now, this is how I pray biblical affirmations. Father God, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, these biblical affirmations are for all of us, all of your children, God, including the ones that are lost, God. We ask that you will soften their heart, our families, our friends, our uh, external family and friends, God. And we just ask that you allow us to accomplish each and every biblical affirmation that we speak today. And we command our minds to be in alignment with these biblical affirmations that you've given us according to your word, according to your riches in Christ Jesus. So here we go. God comforts us in all tribulations. We are sufficient in God. We do not fear no evil, none at all. Our voice is heard by God. God is our helper. God is our healer. We will not, never, ever be moved. God makes us strong. God rescues us from all trouble. God heals our wounds. Our soul finds joy in God every moment, every second of our life. 
God makes our dreams come true. God is our strength in all things. And so we use God for strength in all things. Our steps are established by God, each and every one of them. We have vitality in our souls, in our lives. God is always present in our life at every single moment, at every direction, and at every single step. God is present with us. Be still, our hearts. We command our hearts to be still and wait upon the voice of the Lord to lead us in all things into righteousness and through everything. God guides us forever in every situation, in every circumstance. God guides our thoughts and he leads us in the path of righteousness. We trust in God in all things, no matter what. We are never afraid of nothing here on earth. We only fear God. Our soul only waits on God. Our soul waits on God. We are blessed with every spiritual blessing. We are forgiven and set free from the way of shame, guilt, and self-condemnation. Our hearts and minds have peace through Christ Jesus. We are chosen by God. We are handpicked and selected by God to do his will his purpose, his plan and will. And therefore we accomplish his plan, will and purpose through obedience. We are complete in God in all things because God is the head of our life. We find rest in God, no matter what. We don't worry, we don't stress because God gives us peace. In everything, we see God's glory. When we are weak, we are strong because God's power is made perfect in our weakness. God wants us to prosper in all things and therefore we prosper in all things. We trust in God's timing, not the timing of other people. We trust in God's timing in every situation and circumstance. We see the beauty in everything, no matter what it may be. We see God's glory. We see people the way God sees them because we see things from God's perspective. We don't depend on our own understanding. We will enjoy the good in life, no matter what, because God allows us to enjoy the good in life. We are loved by God every moment. And therefore, we will feel the love of God. And we will focus on God's love in all things, in every situation and circumstance. We will let God's love lead us into righteousness. We take comfort and belonging to God in every situation in every circumstance. Our past does not define us. We will not be ashamed. Neither will we be disgraced because God is our father and he will not let us be put to shame or disgrace. God's mercy will never abandon us. God's kindness will never depart from us. We are guided by God continually. God is our eternal light forever to eternity and through eternity. God answers every single one of our prayers and supplication. Each and every time we speak to God, he answers us guides us and leads us 
our heart is always happy and glad because we rejoice in the glory of God. God is our healer. So therefore, we are healed ahead of time in every situation, in every circumstance. We have found life in God. We find life in God and we enjoy the life that we have with God. God comforts all anxiety, all problems. He gets us through it by pulling us out of it. He allows us to learn. So we learn from our mistakes. We take accountability and ownership. And we allow God to comfort us, to help us move forward in life. God has great plans for us. And God's plan, God's plan will be fulfilled in us. We are blessed beyond measure. Everything we touch is blessed. Everything attached to us wins because we are blessed by God. God always saves us, no matter what the situation is. We are always saved by God. We walk by faith, not by sight, in every situation. God keeps us in perfect peace every single day of our life. Nothing is impossible to us. So we accomplish all things because we have Jesus Christ. And therefore, we are successful because we do the impossible. Nothing is impossible for us. We never give up on nothing in life because God leads us to accomplishing everything according to his plan, will, and purpose. We find joy in God's mercy each and every time, no matter what the trouble is. We are strong and courageous in every single situation, every circumstance. We are not afraid of nothing here on earth. We are never dismayed. We are God's children that are strong and courageous. We are created in the image of God. In the image of perfection, we are created. And so we honor God in our bodies. Our soul finds joy in God. We see the beauty in everything. God is our strength and our shield. It's okay for us to feel weak. When we are weak, God makes us stronger. So we are always strong. We give generously to everybody whenever we can. We compliment people every single chance we get. God wants us to prosper in all things and we prosper in all things. We are worth more than rubies. We are always forgiven and set free from the weight of shame, guilt, regret, and self-condemnation. We seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness. And then everything else that is aligned with God's plan, will, and purpose for our life. We are not defined by our accomplishments or what we don't accomplish. We are defined by who God says that we are. And we're more than conquerors. So we do all things through Christ who gives us strength. God orders his angels to protect us wherever we go. And so therefore, we have God's warring angels to protect us. His holy protecting angels to protect us. And his holy guardian angels to protect us. As we follow Jesus Christ in our walk in his way of holiness. Gladness and joy overtake us. We are excited to live for Christ. God has us in mind before we was born. And so therefore, we center on our minds the things of heavenly things. We focus on those things that are in heaven. 
We are loved by God more fully than we could ever know. Nothing is impossible with God and therefore every satanic tongue that condemns us is condemned. We live this day surrendered to God rather than trying to control people, time, and circumstances. God provides the refuge and shelter our soul seeks. And therefore, we seek the refuge and shelter of God every single day. In every situation, with every single person. And we are bold and fearless each and every time we do it. God has given us every spiritual tool that we need to overcome the enemy's arrows of discouragement, discord, and disbelief. And therefore, we use every spiritual tool in order to overcome the enemy's arrows of discouragement, discord, and disbelief. When we are overwhelmed, God alone knows the way we should turn. And therefore, we follow God. We hear his voice and we follow him because we are his sheep. We do not follow deception, evil, wicked, or demonic spirits. We can do hard things in every, in every situation, no matter what it may be. We don't look at things as hard because we have Christ to lead us through. And so even if we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. None, not all. We will feel, we will fear no evil, none, none of them. So we do hard things and accomplish them because God allows us to. We trust the Lord will make all things new because we are a new creation. So he makes our personality, including our actions and reaction. And he, he creates a new creature within us that is aligned with his word. And that is able to fulfill his plan, will, and purpose. And therefore, we trust in the Lord in all things. The steadfast love of the Lord never ends. And so we continue to allow God's love to manifest in us and through us. We surrender our worries to God who cares for us. Our steps are established by God. And so we walk exactly in the path he leads us. God makes our path straight. And so we're walking straight into eternal life. The cross of Christ is our power. We will never give up on the internal power of Christ. We are blessed beyond measure. We find joy in God's mercy. We always hear the voice of Jesus Christ, our good shepherd who leads and guides us with love. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. We live confidently and without worry, without stress without depression, without anything that hinders our minds through Christ Jesus. We live confidently each and every day without those worries. We are worry-free and stress-free. God has never left us and he will carry us our entire life. And that is what we know and that is what we believe. God always saves us in every situation, no matter what. And that is what we believe. Our life has been rescued by Jesus Christ. And that is why we worship him and praise him because we are indebted to him. Because he has rescued us. So we owe a debt to Jesus Christ. And we forever will repay the debt through our obedience and our faith and our trust for God. We believe in endless possibilities with our father, Jesus Christ. And therefore we have endless possibilities in everything. 
God listens to us. We are thankful for the life that we have because God has blessed us beyond measure. God goes with us in whatever the day holds. He goes before us in whatever the day holds. And he is also our rear guard in whatever the day holds. We are complete in God. All is well today because we are held by the almighty God of the universe who calls us his beloved. We are God's beloved children. We forgive. We give forgiveness to others just as God freely gives us his forgiveness and grace. And so we forgive and give grace to others. God is our healer. We are safe and in control. God will never leave us or abandon us. We overcome every single obstacle through God. There is no obstacle, no barrier, no concern, no adversity, no problem, no nothing that can stand in our way because God removes those things for us. We come, we overcome everything through God. So we always put on the full armor of God each and every day. We are safe as God is watching over us. God. Spirit, his Holy Spirit makes us powerful and not fearful. Therefore, we use the power of the Holy Spirit in every situation to take authority and to dominate in every space, no matter where we are. We dominate through the power of the Holy Spirit and we influence all people through the power of the Holy Spirit inside of us. We trust in God. We trust in God's love and spirit and his Holy Spirit guides us. We will not ever be moved from no situation or circumstance until God repositions us and leads us to move. We wholeheartedly believe that our prayers are heard. We are encouraging and spreading kindness to others. We walk by faith. We are sons and daughters of the king the lord jesus christ god comforts us in all tribulations we are god's master's peace we can bravely face this day in any difficulty because christ's grace is more than enough and will sustain us god's mercy will never abandon us we choose joy today as the gift of god we choose to find joy and to live fully in it. We are growing in the image of God with each challenge that we face. We have nothing to fear because the Lord is always with us. So we don't fear anything in this world. God rescues us from all trouble. No matter what the trouble is. We are remarkably made. We are beloved by God more fully than we can ever imagine. We have been released from the pressure to perform because we have been saved by grace. God chose us to parent our children very well. And, and therefore, we use the wisdom, insight, love, and patience that God has given us to parent our children very well. We are loved and cherished. We are Jesus' friend. He loves us so much that he willingly laid down his life for us. So we appreciate God every single day. We will not be shaken in no situation or circumstance. Our past does not define us. Our faith makes us whole and complete. Our faith makes us whole in the spirit, soul, and our body. We are always on God's mind. We are experiencing real life as Jesus intended for us. We are not just living, but we're living and we're living good. We love and respect ourselves for who we are right now. 
God has perfected what he has started in our life. Our soul only waits on God. Each and every one of us, all the women are daughters of the king, the Lord Jesus Christ. Each and every son of God are sons of the king, the Lord Jesus Christ. We are chosen, holy, and dear, dearly loved by God. God has given this day, and therefore we will rejoice and be glad in it every single day, no matter what the circumstance or situation may be. God is our eternal light, and that is where we walk and follow his eternal light. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. And therefore, we have power we walk with and live with. We have love that we walk and live with. And we have self-control that we live and walk with. We represent the light of Christ. We shine wherever we go. We have been set free from the bondage of sin. And therefore, we are free. We are free from worry, free from stress, free from any and all bondage. We are chained to Christ. God has significant purpose for us in this day and every day. Even our small tasks have eternal impact. Small things have eternal impact because we are powerful through the power of the Holy Spirit. We are handpicked by God. We are clothed with strength and dignity. God is only ever good and God does good. God has good for us every single day of our life. We will never fear nothing evil, demonic, or wicked. God is our helper in all things. And so therefore we call upon God to help us in all things. We are fully accepted by God. So we walk with purpose and we live with purpose. We are a part of something larger than ourselves. We are a part of the body of Christ. We are members of the body of Christ, including our local church. When we are weak, we are strong. We are victorious in Christ. And that is what we focus on. We focus on victory and not the problem. We focus on our win, our small wins, including every victory that we have in Christ. We trust in God because he's trustworthy. The Lord equips us for every good deed and lavishes his grace upon us. So we trust in God more than people. God answers our prayers. Each and every time we make them. We have hope and a future in the Lord. And therefore we live in the hope and the future that God has for us. We are braver and stronger than we think. And so we, we think about how God has made us brave and stronger each and every day. And we implement bravery and strength in every action and reaction. We are worthy. We are enough. We are loved. We have found life in God. God covers us with his feathers. We find refuge under his wings. God has the wisdom we need for each and every decision and choice that we're facing. And therefore, we seek God in all of our choices and decisions. We take things one step at a time. And we manage those small wins to have big wins that leads us to victory in every situation and circumstance. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. So we appreciate what God has done for us. We are open to all ways God wants to bless us. So we accept every blessing that God gives. Small or big. We are competent and God has equipped us for every good work. So we're equipped in this world and we're prepared in every situation and circumstance. 
We keep promises to ourselves as God gives us a spirit of self-control. God's covenant, his word will be fulfilled in our life and in our soul. We love. Okay. God makes our dreams come true. We have the power of God working on the inside of us. Our heart and mind have peace. God is not punishing us. He is fighting on our behalf. We will never be led astray because God is always leading us. We do not follow any deceiving spirits because God is always leading and guiding us. Pain is our friend. We rejoice in suffering because Christ suffered for us. So therefore, we persevere in every situation, circumstance, no matter what it is. We have permission to do what we need to take care of the body that God has given us. And therefore, we take care of the body that God has given us. Because we believe in God and in Jesus Christ, troubles always leave our heart. We unashamedly live for God and not man. We are blessed with every spiritual blessing and are sufficient in God. When our heart condemns us, we rest in God's presence, knowing that he does not condemn us. So we forgive ourselves as Christ has forgiven us. No matter what it is, we move on and push forward through the through the path of righteousness that God has planned for us. God knows our needs for this day and has the perfect sufficiency to meet our needs. And so therefore, we depend on God's sufficiency to meet each and every need that we have. God is intentional in our life. All things, not some things, not part things, not a little things. All things are working for our good. All things. We are patient parents, gentle and loving through all circumstances. We will never be put to shame because nothing is impossible for us and we accomplish all things in life. God is always present in our life. We trust in God's timing. There is no room for fear in God's perfect love for us. So we do not fear. We only fear God. We have everything that we need to flourish. Everything. There is nothing that we do not need that we don't have. God has given us everything that we need to flourish. Fear does not hold us captive. So we don't live in fear. We're not in bondage. God hears us and answer, answers us when we call on him. So we are forgiven. God comforts all anxiety. So nobody is stressed out. We are never stressed out. We handle situations according to Christ's riches and glory. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, ever. We are thankful for the gift of a new day, each and every day. God has chosen us, and therefore, we are saved through grace. And so we appreciate God each and every day for choosing us. We give thanks to God because he is good and his love endures forever. No matter what we go through, God's glory will be revealed through our life. We are content every day, no matter what, because Christ alone grounds us, satisfies us, and blesses us. We have exactly what we need in our life as God is our provider. We trust that God is our good shepherd and that today, each and every day, he's going to lead us on the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And so we follow that path that God is leading us of righteousness. We live by faith, not by sight. God is always with us, even when it doesn't feel like it. We still know that God is with us. So therefore, we accomplish all things because nothing is impossible for us. God keeps us in perfect peace every day of our life, 
Our heart is always happy and peaceful. We are not who we once was. We are forgiving. We are no longer slaves to sin. We are slaves to Christ. God is able to do immeasurably more in our life than we could ever imagine. So we give God complete authorization in our life through our obedience. We have been uniquely designed for a purpose. And therefore, we will fulfill God's purpose. We surrender all anxiety, depression, and stress to God, knowing that his peace will guard our hearts and minds. With God, all things are possible. And that is a constant reminder for us. We guard our hearts because it determines the course of our life. And so we guard our hearts with the blood of Jesus Christ. We take comfort in belonging to God. God has given us everything we need to live in a way that he wants us to live. And therefore, we're going to live each and every day in everything and all things the way that God wants us to live. And we're going to be happy about it. We are set free from all things that hold us back. Nothing holds us back. We accomplish all things. All things that we attempt in the mighty name of Jesus. Our voice is heard by God. God guides us forever. We are guided by God continually and we trust in God. We are heard by God. All things are working for our good. God heals our wounds. So therefore we walk in healing and divine purpose. Our hearts are open and we accept Christ's healing of peace in every situation and circumstance we are solution driven through christ not problem driven through this world we have a future that is filled with hope and therefore god's hope and future for us will be fulfilled god has great plans for our life so we enjoy the good in our life we are not afraid because god is right here with us holding our hands he always strengthens us and helps us in all things. Even if we don't have anything in this world, we have God to talk to. And that is what we appreciate the most of all things. We trust God's purpose and plan for our life. We are more than a conqueror through him who loves us. God has fully and completely redeemed us. We are adopted by God in, in, into his royal family. So we are God's royal family. We are heirs of the royal family of God. And therefore, we find rest in God. We see the kingdom of God because we are born again. We don't worry about everyday life. God knows our needs and meets them because we make his kingdom our primary concern. Jesus shows himself to us because we love him. Because Jesus died for our sins, we are no longer separated from God. We live in close union with him. The fruit we produce brings great joy to God, our father in heaven. God's power works best in our weakness so we're never actually weak through the energy of christ working powerfully in us we teach others of his truths we have been saved not by works but grace so that we might do good works our faith makes us whole in spirit soul and body when we call out to God, he answers us. He tells us things we wouldn't know otherwise. Because we place our hope in the Lord, our strength is renewed continually. As we follow Jesus, as we walk with him, we have peace. Because we obey Jesus, 
we remain in love. The cross of Christ is our power. Our God meets all of our needs. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help us in times of trouble. God gives us strength when we are weary and increases our power when we are weak. Because we place hope in God, we soar like an eagle, run and not grow weary, walk and not be faint. We set our heart and mind on things above, not earthly things. This gives us continual peace. We guard our heart because it determines the course of our life. We trust God at all times because he is our refuge. As we lose our life for, for Jesus' sake, we find it. God keeps us in perfect peace because we trust in him and fix our thoughts on him. God does immeasurably things in our life than we could ever imagine. We experience true life when we deny ourselves. So we deny ourselves. We turn from selfish ways and follow Jesus Christ and everything. We have the anointing of Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. He teaches us truth and empowers us to live a life that is full of life. Seeking all truthfulness. So therefore we embrace all true things. All the truth that comes from God, we embrace and love it. We don't challenge God's word. We ask him what we need to know. We ask, seek, and knock. And God answers us by giving to us all the things that we need in order for us to be victorious. We cannot experience an abundant life except for Jesus and the cross. And therefore we have abundance in life. We love God's principles and meditate on them all day. We live by faith, not by sight. We follow Jesus Christ no matter where he leads us. The same love that God has for Jesus Christ is in us. And so no matter what, we love God through Jesus. We love, we love people through Jesus Christ. The same, the, we, are, we are being made holy by God's truth. It is by grace of God and his love that we are saved by faith. We approach God directly with freedom and confidence through faith in Jesus Christ. We worship the Lord our God and serve only him. God, Jesus Christ is the only one that we serve and worship. We have great joy because we obey God's commands and remain in his love. Because we have written love and faithfulness on the tablet of our hearts, we have favor with God. The fullness of God is available to us because we are deeply rooted in the love of Jesus. As we give up control, we release our life to God and allow Jesus Christ to live through us. God-sized things happens in our life. Big things happens for us. Because we give up the control of the flesh. And we release our life to God. Who allows us to, to live through Jesus Christ. And therefore we live. And big things happen for us according to God's will. We do not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Because we believe in God and Jesus, trouble leaves our hearts. God pours out his love into our hearts by his Holy Spirit. Our life is bringing honor to Christ. God likes this. We can make God happy because we fear the Lord and shown evil. Our body is healthy and our bones are nourished. As we follow Jesus Christ and walk in his way of holiness, gladness and joy overtakes us. 
The Lord is our good shepherd. He provides all of our needs. We was one. We was made in the image of God. How cool is that? We are cool because we have the attributes and the qualities of God living on the inside of us. God reveals his spiritual truth to us by the Holy Spirit. So we understand all spiritual truths. All the things that God has revealed to us to understand. We understand it and it has been revealed to us. In God, we live and move and exist. So we may never win an Olympic medal, but we won a crown of everlasting joy because we know Christ Jesus. So we have everlasting joy. We continue to work out our full salvation as God works in us according to his good purpose. God does not look at our outward appearance. He looks at our heart and examines it. God is spiritually refining us. Because we seek the Lord with all of our heart, we lack in no good thing. The key to our fruit bearing life is hearing God's truth and understanding it. And so therefore we hear God's truth and we fully understand and perceive it. We understand things from God's perspective and not our own. When we humble ourselves before God in prayer, he hears us and, and we gain understanding. Every single time we communicate with God. Our faith saves and transforms us, comes by reading and understanding God's word. So the more and more we understand God's word, the more and more we are transformed. God's Holy Spirit who lives in us opens our mind to the deep truths in God's word. So our minds are open to the deep truths and understanding of God's word. We're like a tree planted by the streams of water. Our life bears fruit. Our soul bears fruit and prospers because we meditate on God's word. More than anything else, we, we guard our heart because it determines the course of our life. We don't act thoughtlessly. We are thought leaders. Through Christ. And we understand what the Lord wants us to do. At all times. We are not confused about anything. God's spirit in us is greater than any spirit in the world. And therefore we influence all people and all things. Through the power of our Holy, the Holy Spirit on the inside of us. He enables us to live a victorious life. And therefore we are victorious. In our spirit and in life. We are experiencing real life as Jesus intended it. The Holy Spirit helps us understand God's truth when we read the Bible. So when we read the Bible, we understand it. Experiencing God and his truth, not knowledge about him and them, gives us abundant life. Because we feed on bread that comes from heaven, which is Jesus Christ. We have life and we live eternally through Jesus. We give thanks to God because he is good and his love endures forever in our life. We don't hide our light under a basket. We let it shine for all to see so that everyone will praise God the Father in heaven. God forgives all of our wrongdoings and he never remembers our sins. We are a new person, complete in Christ. If we don't stand firmly in our faith, we won't stand at all. And set, therefore, we stand firmly in our faith. In every situation, in every circumstance, we stand firm in our faith. In our belief in God, who is trustworthy to us. We are able to keep our ways pure by living according to God's word. We run along the path of God's commands 
because he has set our heart free. God is so faithful to us. He's complete. He he has com he'll he's going to complete the good work that he has began in us. We alone are not competent. Our competence comes from God. We give our anxieties to God and know that he'll take them because he loves us. And therefore, this, all, this gives us peace. The Lord stands at our side and gives us strength to share his good news with others. And so we share the good news of God with everybody. As we lose our life for Christ's sake, we find true life in him. We have life now and eternally because of God's grace. It's not because of anything we have done. It's because of his grace. And we understand and recognize that we have life now and eternally because of God's grace. Because we've walked through Jesus, through Jesus gate. We found green pastures. When we're distressed, we cry out to God for help and he hears us and he answers us and he protects us and he leads us. God quiets our deep inner hunger because we are cherished by him. When we cry to God for relief from the deepest pits of our life, he hears us, answers us, protects us, leads us, and guides us. When we are distressed, we cry out to God for help and he hears our voice. God is love and he is in us, so we are love. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for counting us faithful and putting us into ministry. Jesus Christ died and rose from the grave for us. So we are blessed because we believe this and have not seen him. Though we have not seen the resurrected Christ, we believe in him and am, therefore we are blessed. We are protected by the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is good. We have experienced God. We have a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Because of what Christ did on the cross of Cal at Calvary, we're able to have a new life. And therefore, we have a new life in Christ. And that life is peaceful and filled with abundance. When Christ died, we were set free from the power of sin. And therefore, we're set free from sin. We're not bond we are not in bondage to sin. We are not chained to sin. We are set free from sin. Our negative feelings don't come from God, so we don't have to put up with them. We rebuke and re cancel every negative feeling in our life. We rebuke things that are evil, wicked, and demonic. We rebuke them. Each and every time we see it, hear it, or feel it, we rebuke all evil, wicked, and demonic things. Because God's spirit lives in us. Our spirit is alive, and we have true life through God. Someday we'll be in heaven with our father because we know the, the way there. And that is through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ gives us victory over sin and death. So we win. We we're, we're walking into eternal life. When Jesus knocks on our heart's door, we hear him. We let him in and we have fellowship with God. Because we follow Jesus, we know his voice and he personally directs our paths. We do not fear death because it's our doorway to heaven. The power of God works through us as we affirm that it's his treasure inside this jar of clay. And so we recognize that the power of God is always working through us. As we cast our cares and burdens to God, he sustains us and gives us peace. We are not afraid or discouraged because God goes before us and is always with us. We have entered the kingdom of God like a little child. Our kind words are sweet to the soul and healing to the bones of others. God blesses us with peace and gives us strength. As we wait on the Lord and are courageous, God will strengthen our heart. Our God is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. 
We try to spend time with wise people. This helps us become even wiser. We know the scriptures, yes, but most importantly, we know Jesus and in, in him, we have life. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is sealed in your atonement blood. Amen. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight on the uh, Sunday prayer and affirmation line. Okay. That will be done every single Sunday. And if you have any affirmations that you wanted to add, go ahead and send me that email to Laws Life Help at Sudden Changes Corporation.org. Also, if you wanted to become an author or uh, you were interested in volunteering or possibly doing uh, some community service, please go ahead and send that email to info at suddenchangescorporation.org. Also, if you were needing to make a comment or you wanted to make a suggestion for a topic or you wanted to respond to a blog post or a, a social media status that you've seen, please go ahead and send the email to me at Deanna Watson at SuddenChangesCorporation.org. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you all tomorrow. You all have a good night. Thank you.